Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Today is a new day and we are going to talk about one of our my favorite brand cameras and probably your favorite brand cameras, Polaroid. This is homage, this is, um, what do we want to call it? Um, this is a memorial to Polaroid. It's a, a homage to Polaroid. We're honoring Polaroid today. And we, got, we have other cameras we're going to talk about in the next couple episodes, but this today is just all about Polaroid. Now, I have a collection here of Polaroid cameras. We're going to talk about them a little bit, but we're going to talk about the main, the man who created it. His name was Ed Landon, okay? It was Ed Land or Ed Landwin. Ed Landon. You guys check it out, do the research. He was a brilliant man, and he always talked about, um, he started off, you know, back in the 40s, um, you know, as an inventor, I think he was 19 years old, he uh, started um, the Polarizer. He came up with the Polarizer, and then he uh, worked uh, with the with the armed forces and stuff like that, creating Polarizers and stuff for them, and, you know, our sunglasses, that type of thing. Um, I think he did something for a train. He did some Polarized glass for a train and things like that. So you guys check it out. Do the research on him, Ed Landon. And then in 1948, I think it was 19, no, 1943, uh, his daughter came to him and said, uh, Dad, why do we have to wait so long before we get, you know, our pictures developed? And she was a little little girl. She was probably like, I don't know how old she was. And he said, you know what, that's, that's, that's a good idea. That's, I mean, he said, why do, we have to, why, do we, why do we have to wait so long? So he came up with the instant polar, uh, Polaroids that we have uh, been using all these years. Um I'm trying to think. Uh, it was like five years later he came up. He was able to uh, make that possible. And five years later, he came out with the first Polaroid camera, which I have right here. I happen to have it. This is the uh, 95. Okay, I think the 95A, 95, whatever. This is the land camera and um, very, very heavy camera. Um, I'm gonna open it up and let you see what it does. I can remember how to open it up here. Bam! You hit that right there and pull this out and this is the land camera this is the the first camera in 1948 started selling and I forgot how much this was selling for we'll put it up on the screen but this camera was selling for um, I can't even remember what it was selling for but this is the model 95 I was looking at the thing here so it's not the 95a they have the 95a 95b this is the model 95 so this is the first one in 1948 and I got my hands on it and I was very very happy to get my hands on it. It's in very, very good condition. You know, I'm not going to uh, go into all the condition. It has the leather strap right here and everything. And then I actually have the uh, case, uh, one of those black cases that it came in at the time. This is the flash unit for it. Okay. You can you notice it has the same texture, has the same texture. And the flash unit would uh, go on the side here, I believe. If I can get it on here. Let me see. I'm not an expert with this, man. I think I hit this little button here. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it is. Hit this little button. I think I can't get on there. Well, as you can see, I am not an expert when it comes to this because I haven't played around with this. There it is. It slides right on. So that flash unit would go there, and then this little trigger unit would go here. Okay. You could wrap it around accordingly. I know it's kind of in the way there, but that's what, how it look. So now you could take your pictures. You got your flash unit, and uh, how do you hold this thing? I guess you could hold it like this. You could hold it like this. You could take pictures like this, or you could take pictures like that. This thing is pretty heavy, though. Nice looking unit. This is the Model 95. Once again, folks, the Model 95. And uh, yeah, Edwin Land. Edwin Land came out with this camera, and I got some flash bulbs here. But these flash bulbs go to this uh, unit right here. We'll talk about that one in a second. So this is the first one from 1948. That's what I want to basically emphasize here. This is the first one from 1948. Okay. All right. Now, this is the 160. Um, I don't have them all in order. There was a lot of different versions later on. This is another version. And you can see it has a, like a plastic housing right here. I believe this is your range finder. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail on that. But this one right here, if you were to look at it, the eyepiece right here that you look through, you pop that up like that. You would pop it up and you would look through it like that and take your pictures. And then 
uh, these cameras you had to pull the film out. So this is called a, a pill apart a film. And you had to, you had your back here. You open up your back. Count that up. Oops. Not an expert at this. And your film would go in here. Okay. So your film would go in there, and then you pull it out, and then you would uh, wait for it to um, expose or whatever. I'm not an expert on these Polaroid cameras, but I'm a t there's a reason that we're talking about these Polaroid cameras, and we're going to go into that reason in a little bit. So just bear with me and everything, and we will give you the details. Okay. So this one is pretty much almost the same body. It's a newer version. This is the 160. I don't know what year this came out. Um, you can do the research on that. I didn't look up the year on this one, but it has the same characteristics. Um, you hit this button right here. Pops out. Once again, this part comes out. Okay. I don't know if I'm opening that right. And it says Model 160. So you can see that they do are very similar. Uh, this was a later version. It has a plastic part up here where you look through here. Um, I think that's called the range finder. So you could, you know, uh, adjust your distance according to your your lens and stuff and then later on they got some that, that are a little bit more advanced where you could adjust your lenses and things of, of that nature but we're not gonna get in we're not gonna get that deep if you want to get that deep watch some other by other person's YouTube and they'll they'll give you more information on that this is just a quick uh, a quick uh, show of cameras so your model 90 once again the model 95 they got the model 95 a 95 B whatever this is in the model 95 came out in 1948 that's basically all you need to know. If you want to know more information, look him up. Ed Lanwin. Ed, Ed, um, Edwin Land. I'm sorry. Edwin Land. That's the guy who created all this. And like I said, 1948, was this was his first model, and it took off. I think this thing sold, this camera sold for like um, like a, like 100 bucks. I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to put the details on there what it sold for. I think it sold for like $100 or something like that. Because it's, it's, it's made very, very uh, well. It's very, very heavy. It's very solid, um, yeah. And like I said, this is a model that came a little later. They actually have a model 80, and I know they have a model 150, and they have another. They have a bunch of different models in between here. And um, I wasn't um, privileged to get every model, but I do have these models right here. I actually got these from the thrift store, which was great. These are really hard to find, especially this one right here. A lot, a lot of people are, are price gouging on this. I think I probably paid um, twenty or thirty dollars for this camera right here and then this one right here same way I try to keep it within the twenty thirty dollar range uh, try not to pay too much but for people are price gouging these are selling for a hundred dollars or more and um, so we're gonna talk about these two cameras like I said very similar um, it's got a red button in the back here as far as this part ejecting and stuff I don't know what that does I think that's how you open the whole thing up yeah that's how you open the whole thing up I didn't I didn't show you guys that but let me see I don't know. So we're back again, and like I said, the next camera we're going to talk about, we're going to go and talk about the Polaroid 220. Now, I believe the 100 or the 110 was the first model that was made like this. This is also also Polaroid, one of the later models, and you press down on it like this, and this one's really weird. You got these two levers right here. You pop up. And then it springs out. Same concept. The flash unit plugs into the side. This is your flash unit, which separates. You got your uh, range finder area right here. And this is the Polaroid 220. And like I said, you see how small and compact it was when I felt when I was able to fold it up. I can't fold it back up now. I figured out how to fold it up. But this is um, one of the later models. Okay, it's a lot lighter. I forgot what the price on this was. You can look it up. This is the model 220. So I have, a, like I said, I have a collection of, 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 of a couple of these units. And we're going to, uh, like I said, this is all homage to Polaroid. That's what this is all about. The reason I'm showing you these cameras is because we're going to show you some more even later models later on. Um, and I just want to say, I'll, I'll get, tell you a little brief history about what happened with Polaroid. Polaroid was, like I said, one of the first Instamatic companies to make um Instamatic cameras, I believe, and then during that time they had a lawsuit with Kodak. Kodak is very, very um, popular. We're gonna talk about Kodak. I'm gonna do a, a whole thing on Kodak on the next episode. And Kodak, uh, they they went to court. They went to court, and it was a long story. Kodak used to provide the film and stuff, and and uh, 
what what happened was Kodak tried to go into the camera business and they started making cameras and and they started making instamatic cameras and it, it it got a big lawsuit. Um they went into a big lawsuit behind that. Like a lot of other companies just like Apple and 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 and, and um what was it Apple and Microsoft, you know? So same thing companies they 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 get big and then they kind of help each other out a little bit and then they start fighting over who's going to have the rights. So Kodak actually lost and uh yeah, they lost and then and, and it and they had to pay like a billion dollars. I think it was like a billion dollars. They had to pay like a billion dollars. But by the time that they had to pay all this money, the instamatic market and everything of of uh instamatic pictures was over. That's when the digital realm came in. So digital t kind of took over after that. I'm just giving you guys a, like a little quick history of all that. And you can look it up. It's one guy, he's really uh, very knowledgeable about that. And he, he, he's got it all broken down. I'm not going to go through all that. But very good documentary on how all that happened. And then the digital realm came in. And that's when Sony came in with the digital cameras. And we're going to talk about that. That's another whole, st another whole video. Um, they came out with the uh, the the floppy disks. Okay, you guys know what a floppy is? A floppy disk that go in your computer, you probably don't know what that is. A lot of young people don't know what that is. But they came out with the floppy disk digital cameras. Uh, and that was uh, Sony. Okay, but today we're not talking about Sony. We're going back to Polaroid. Once again, the first camera from 1948. This is a camera that came a little later. Don't know what year it came out, but it came out a little later. And then this is a camera that came out a little a lot later. And you can see it's a lot lighter and uh, more compact. And uh, I forgot how to fold it back up. But we'll, we're going to put it to the side. So, we saw the, these cameras, and we want to show the next one. Here's another one that came out a little later. This is the uh, Polaroid Reporter. They call it The Reporter. So, I thought this was very, very, uh, 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 I don't know, symbolic, I guess. I could put this around. I got the little strap. It's pretty lightweight. I'm going to be using this one a lot, actually. This is going to be my main uh, Go camera, I think. And the reporter camera I thought was really cool, but I kind of modified it. And I'm going to keep it real. I modified it. You open it up. It pops out. Probably doesn't look that good now. Oh, uh, man. It's not opening up that good. Okay, there it is. And it's not perfect like it used to be. I modified it. And what I did is I put a GoPro in there. <laughs> so it's got the GoPro. And it's not finished yet. It's not fully modified. So it doesn't look perfect yet. But this is a GoPro. But it does have the black facing. And it says reporter. The reporter camera. So if you look at this video later on and you say, oh, man. And then what's cool about it is I can actually open the back on here and I can see uh, the screen on the GoPro and, and, and do the adjustments as well. Okay, let me take it off my neck here. So this is going to be my main go-to camera. And I picked this up for, like, really cheap. It was, like, $20 for, every, for everything, you know, shipping. Uh, and uh, I got it on eBay. I remember when I'm getting this. Oh, okay. Open it this way. I'm trying to figure out how to open it up. So everything isn't perfect right now. So just bear with it, but you can actually see the screen in there. It's a square, it's a square screen, and you can see it if I turn it on. And um, I should turn it on, huh? Let me turn it on. I haven't turned this on in a while. I'm gonna start shooting with this. Oh, and I, I put the SD card in there. No SD card in there, but you can see inside the square screen, and that is the GoPro. This is the GoPro Six. This was actually given to me on my birthday, and I decided to put it in this particular camera. Because I thought it'd be fitting to go in into something that's old, retro, and it's what's cool about it is, uh, boom! It just closes right up, it closes right up. So you got that nice protective uh, case for it, and this has got the GoPro six in it. You could put a GoPro eight in here, a GoPro nine, a ten, whatever they come out with. I think they got the nine is the latest greatest. But this was uh this is my baby right here. This is called the Reporter. Okay, Let me put that up to the screen so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay. The Reporter, Polaroid, okay, one of my favorite cameras. So, like I said, with all the different models, I can't put them all on the table right now, but uh, kind of giving you guys an idea of where we're going with this. I got a couple other ones. Okay, here it is. Okay, so this is the Polaroid uh, Reporter, and they also have another one that came out around the same time maybe even before so don't quote me it might not be as accurate it looks exactly the same pretty much but this one was called the pro pack okay this one was called the pro pack it has the flash and everything and i just kept it together because it matches i got this same thing probably for about 20 bucks has your uh, lanyard strap to go around your neck and you know bam 
This is called the Pro Pack. Okay, Polaroid. And it's got the green uh, labeling in there. This is your Pro Flash for the Pro Pack. And uh, same thing, same concept. This one, of course, I haven't modified it. So actually, this one, you can see what it actually looked like before I modified it. This one actually looks a little bit better. But yeah, that's the Pro Pack. We might put the GoPro in there. I think we might put the GoPro in here. I just got to figure out how to modify it better because the square section right here is what I was trying to save and I couldn't I couldn't get the GoPro in there without damaging it. So that's what it looks like. And this is the Pro Pack. So it's the same camera as the reporter. And uh, yeah, this is Edwin Land came up with all these. Now, after these cameras came out, there was one that came out in 19... 72 and it was called the sx70 i want that camera really bad if anybody has it out there please if you want to donate it please donate it uh it's the sx70 my mom had that camera back in in the 70s and i don't know what exact year she had it but i remember her having that camera and it folds out okay i'll probably put a screenshot of it in this video but it used to fold out and it was fo it fold flat and it fold out that was one of the most popular cameras and Polaroid really took off at that time. I think they created some, um, they created their own um, plants to build these cameras and everything. I think they were having their cameras built somewhere else at one time. And then they started building their own plants and they just really went into it full fledged. They didn't do any market research at that time. They said, hey, this is what people want. And they started doing it. And, and people did want it. But like I said, the digital age came in. And then when the digital age came in, it kind of it took away from their success. Okay, and it's a lot to, to, to watch. So watch the documentary on it. I'm going to put the link um, in the description of this video so you guys can take a look at the whole documentary if you're interested. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. And very sad. So Ed Landon, um, like I said, he came out with the SX-70 in 1972. Okay, I'm pretty sure. On, I looked at the uh, my information, so check it out. Um I don't have that camera. Like I said, people are price gouging. They're selling that camera right now. It's at least $100. You know, you might find one for $150. You might find one for $200, $300. I mean, I've seen, I've seen cameras. Those cameras go up to like $700 bucks or more. So people are price gouging. I can't afford it. I'm on a budget, you know. So I just want to show you this is some of my Polaroid collection. Now what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate some of these cameras because I need more room so I can show you even more. So we're going to take out the 160 that was... Uh, that came out, I don't know what year, like I said, we're going to keep the 1948, okay, we're going to get rid of the, the Polaroid Reporter, which is my favorite camera, and we're going to get rid of the, uh, uh, what is this one, the Pro Pack, we're going to get rid of the Pro Pack right now, so just bear with me, and we got rid of the, we got rid of the 220, now here's some flash light bulbs, um, these were disposable light bulbs, because every time you took a flash, the, you had to replace the light bulb so this is what the light bulbs look like and I'll put this up to the camera a little bit so you can see and these are like brand new so these are still still good and um, every time you took a flash you had to put one of these in there I don't know what these cost I don't know what the cost on these were but these came in, the, in a bundle when I bought um, the 220 camera and I've got documentation also um, where's the documentation I got some documentation for some of these cameras and um all kinds of stuff let's see right here polaroid of uh i don't know what that is but i've got some documentation some little instruction manuals right here yeah this was on the land this came with this this is the actual instruction manual you can see okay that was like the instruction manual how to operate the land uh wow got some good pictures in here look at this pictures are very detailed okay that's how to operate the land camera in 19, um, wow. So, yeah, I haven't even looked at this stuff. I just kind of put it to the side. We've got some good pictures. So this was like the instruction manual and then uh, warranty cards and all kinds of stuff that came with it. So I need to probably put this stuff up. It's very, very collectible. If I wanted to sell this camera or something like that, I could put all this stuff out and, 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 and show the collection of it. Now, it also came with... Uh, some filters look at this and it's in the same t it's in the same color as the camera polaroid filters okay and if you open them up you see three filters in there okay these are nd filters 
And like I said, Polaroid was known for their, uh, I'll take out one of these. Kind of dirty there. I'll take out all three. But these filters were, this is how they started their business. He was, you know, he created the polarizer. The polarizer, and like I said, watch the documentary, and I'll explain a little bit more about that polarizer. He, it, and that was what we used on our sunglasses. And it, it, at one time, they wanted to put them on cars, and it didn't work out. But I guess this would pop on here like that. That's the number two ND filter. Okay. That's the number two. And then you could just pop them on when you want it, you know, a different filter. This is kind of bent up a little bit. There it is. Okay, so you just pop them on when you wanted a different type of look or a different filter. So, that's pretty interesting. I haven't played around with these. So, do I plan on, this is the point I wanted to make. Do I plan on going and getting some Polaroid film and all that kind of stuff and trying to take Polaroid pictures? No, that's not me. Some guys out there, they're buying film and I heard the film was very, very expensive. Some guy says like $100 a pack for film, depending on what you get, you know, for what kind of camera. Um... Actually, I'm not done. I, yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna leave out of here. But do I feel like going out and getting film and, and all that kind of stuff? And no, I'm not gonna be taking Polaroid pictures. I took them back in the day. Back in the '70s is when I used to use the uh, SX70. That's when my mom got that camera, and that camera probably cost I don't know 150 bucks back then. And like I said, they price gouging it, and they're trying to sell it right now for 150 dollars now. Okay, so it's very very it's a very cool collectible camera and the reason that it, it, it became so popular because it could just fold up you could put it in your pocket supposedly if you had a big pocket you could put it in your pocket of your jacket and you could just open it up and then start shooting pictures that camera was tight and then when you after you shot the, shot the picture of course you came out zzz, zzz, the, cam, the, the film came out right in front of you i mean the, the the polaroid picture came out right in front of you so that was this camera you had to open it up you had to pull it out from the side this is called a pill apart and you had to, oh, here it is. You hit this little lever right here. I knew it opened up. And then look at this thing. Look at this. Okay. Okay. So your film went in here somehow. Don't ask me how. If you want to watch some other videos on how to do all that. And then you would pull it out. And you would uh, wait for it to develop. This has got a lot, of, a lot of moving parts. Okay. A lot of moving parts. But this is the 95, once again, the 95 from 1948. And the reason I keep emphasizing that because I wanted to show you that there's a lot of advancements. There's been a lot of cameras in between that. I don't have every one of them, but I showed you a, a, a nice little collection. The 95, the 160, the 220, um, the 110 they have. I don't have that one. The SX, um, the SX70, and then later on, he, they made a lot of hard Polaroid models with the, uh, they would like, uh, I can't even think of, like the Polaroid Sun. And there's a, there's a big history on Polaroid. And we're not going to go into every one of them because it would take two, three days of videos to tell you about every Polaroid. So what we're going to talk about next is we're going to go to the Polaroid professional camera that came out 1978. Okay, 1978, that's when I was still in junior high, getting ready to go to high school, actually. Okay, this one came out in 1978. This is the Polaroid professional right here. And I have another camera on top of this, and we're going to talk about this. This is also a Polaroid, but this is a, a, a more Polaroid, new up-to-date a little bit. This is like probably from around 2014. I just kind of mounted it on top, and I also mounted an LED light on here instead of, a, uh, instead of a flash. But you could put a flash unit here, and you could put a light on here or a microphone or whatever you want. Wouldn't, you wouldn't put a microphone back in that day because this was strictly for taking pictures and then you had a back on the back. I don't have the back, but you would have a back on the back and you would take off the film and you would pull it out and it still was manual. A lot of guys are getting these cameras right now and they're putting the electronic backs on here and they're putting different backs on here where you could pull the film, where the film will come out automatically, I think, or you could pull it out. Pull it, uh, but I'm not getting all into that. I put a Polaroid strap on here, so I have a Polaroid strap. If you look at that, it says Polaroid and that's actually from the newer camera. And I just got the newer camera on here. Let me set this thing down. This thing is heavy. I got the newer camera on here with a hot shoe I can just, or a cold shoe. We can just pull it off. And that's the newer Polaroid camera. So your camera actually looks like this when you get it. Okay. And it doesn't have the square scoop. I put that on there because I didn't actually have the full lens. So I put that in there and I just put an ND filter. So if you turn the camera around, this is what it looks like. It's open in the back. 
and I can put any camera in here. Now, why would I want something like that? Exactly for what I just said, because I can put any camera in here. So now I can upgrade this to a digital uh, HD camera. I can shoot video with it. I can do anything I want with it. And that's what I uh, bought this for. I like the body, it's solid. This is your trigger right here to take your pictures and stuff. And I just thought this was a very, very cool body. And I got it for a real reasonable price. I put the scoop on here. This came off my JVC. And um, it looks kind of, it's kind of yank janky, but it's, it's good. Okay. So this is the Polaroid. Uh, I didn't even tell you guys the number. This is the Polaroid 600 SC. A lot of guys are talking about this camera. The professionals are using this camera. Or we're using. Some guys are still buying this camera and still shooting with it. But like I said, the film, I think the film is like 100 bucks, And you get like maybe 10 shots or something like that. Is it worth it to me? No, it's not worth it. But to make a video camera out of this or to make a, 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 a digital camera out of this, I think that would be cool. So that's what I bought this body for. And I really, really like it. It's heavy. Very professional. And I'm not going to be taking it out too much. But I wanted to show you guys, you know, Polaroid stepped their game up. This was 1978. This is for the pros, the professionals. And like I said, you could put a flash here. But I decided I didn't have a flash. So I put an LED video light. Because so I'm into video. Anybody that knows me out there, you know I'm into video. So that's why we're doing this video. And then this right here is a digital camera from, uh, I believe, 2014. This is the Polaroid... Uh, don't know the model on this one right here. Dang, I don't I even didn't get to give you guys the model. But this one has Wi-Fi capability and everything. So this was digital HD. I don't know for sure if it's full HD or it's uh, 720 HD. We haven't really tested it out. I got this a couple weeks ago. Haven't really tested it out, but we're going to start using this. I know it does work. Got it from the thrift store, keeping it real. Got this from eBay. This is really hard to find, I'm telling you. And with this setup, like I said, I could easily screw the camera on. I'll put the hush on there good. And now I could turn the digital camera on there and I could shoot HD video with this. If I wanted to, or I could put a digital camera in the back here. Yeah, easily, I could put a small miniature DV camera in there. And we're going to do that. Um, this camera is not going to stay on here like that, but I wanted to show you the advancements of Polaroid. So Polaroids went from stuff like this, the 95, the first camera from 1948, to this one right here, to 1978. Something like this that probably came out in like 2008. I think this came out in 2012 or something like that. So, whew, it's hot in here. Because when I make these videos, I don't have no air on right now. Uh, I'm keeping it real. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go away from this right here. And we're going to show you uh, something else here. Actually, I might want to leave this on here. I like this camera. No, I'll put it over here to the side like that. Okay. Well, these are my two favorite cameras right now, in a sense. But we're going to jump up to 2014. Like I said, this was probably 2012, maybe even 2014 on this smaller camera right here. 1978, 1948. We are going to jump to 2014. 2014 they came out with a couple cameras that were very popular and I have them down here I'm trying to figure out which one I want to show you first I believe it was this one right here they were talking about this we're gonna do unboxing videos on this this is the Polaroid Instamatic okay this uh, I'm sorry the Polaroid Socialmatic and this was geared for people that was doing social media at the time it came out like 2014 and it came out with three or four different cameras and this particular one, the Socialmatic, very, very interesting camera. I'm going to unbox it here. Bam. We've already unboxed it. Still got all the literature here. Still in good condition. And I'll show you guys the front of the box here. I didn't do that. I don't usually do unboxing videos. Polaroid Socialmatic. Okay. Um, it says it on the side. You can read that. Socialmatic. Polaroid Socialmatic. Okay. And when you unbox it, it's packaged very good, packaged very nice, like the iPhone products and stuff like that. Um, I bought this a while back, and I just I have been haven't done the video. I wanted to do the video as soon as I got it, but I had to wait for the other Polaroid cameras that came in. And this is what the camera looks like. Amazing, amazing looking camera. Okay, amazing. This is this is Polaroid technology. Flip it around. And you got a touch screen. That's actually a touch screen. And I can't power it up right now because the battery's dead, but it did come with the power supply. 
and then it actually has instant film that shoots out on the side right there in that little slot you will see that that little slot and that's where your film comes out it's a smaller uh, three by two two by three inch film and also when you put the film in you uh, is it the button yeah you open it up like this okay you open it up so the screen just kind of flips look at that that's so nice this is some serious modern work you put the film right in here okay and it takes this type of paper called zinc paper and there's a like a test sheet that goes with it you can watch some other videos like that if you're interested in this camera it's a lot of there's a bunch of videos I had learned a little bit about it and uh, this is a cool camera I actually had it on a tripod and it's supposedly it shoots 1080p video so you shoot 1080p video it's a touch screen it's got the printer this was revolutionary to me I mean I was like wow I don't know how well it sold um, it was like I think it was like 299 and I got this camera for like I think I got it for like 50 bucks yeah it was kind of kind of pricey but I got it for you guys I got it for you guys for the viewers and um, I got it so I could show you how Polaroid had has evolved this was 2014 and at that time Polaroid I think they got bought out by other companies and they started making this stuff I don't know if it was the real Polaroid company anymore but like I said this is all homage to Polaroid that's why I wanted to show you guys this so this is the Polaroid should I put this back in the box I want to show you the comparison well you guys seen it already if you want to see it look at some other videos the Polaroid sociomatic camera okay so Polaroid went from 1948 to 2014 with the sociomatic and now we're gonna bring up another one this one is called the Polaroid cube okay the Polaroid cube I got it back got the box backwards sorry about that the Polaroid cube as you can see I haven't even taken it out of the box I was waiting for this day to take it out of the box and I still don't want to take it out of the box because <laughs> it's so small I might lose it that's the Polaroid cube but it's pretty small and the reason I guess we could take it out it's never been open the seals never been open and I don't have my knife over here to open it up I don't think I got some scissors here Okay, I can unslide it there. That's cool. I kind of don't want to open this. This is the Polaroid Cube. We'll go ahead and do it. I wasn't going to post this video. This was just supposed to be a test video, but I think we're going to go ahead and... How do you get in here? Uh, we're really opening it the wrong way, but... Okay. Alright, so this is the Polaroid Cube. Once again, I got this actually from the thrift store. Brand new. I just broke the seal. I think it still has plastic. It has plastic on the top, um, and there it is. That's magnetic. It's got a magnetic base. Oh, that's cool. It's got a magnetic base on there. So this is magnetic. I remember uh, reading about this. This is the Polaroid Cube Two. I think uh, they had a Cube One and a Cube Two. And if you want to see more uh, uh, videos about this, you know, check out other people's videos. It's got the rainbow thing on the side, whatever, and. Uh, Take, a, take some micro SD. I believe this shot in 1080p. I'm gonna have to double check um, the information on here, but yes, yeah, it's 1080p, 720p video, boom, 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 and six megapixel still pictures. This came out like 2014. Okay, so it's a very, very popular camera, and you see how small it is compared to my fingers here. Now, something like this could easily, easily go on inside of here you know it could go behind the filter it could go anywhere and that's why I bought this camera because this is going to be a 1080p 720p camera that is upgradable and it also uh, syncs up to your phone through your Wi-Fi whatever and this camera is a would be a good blogging camera see how small it is and it could go on any of these Polaroid cameras so now if I wanted to bring this camera back to life I could uh, open this thing up I could put the cube in there I could put this just stick the cube on front like that and the cube is doing all the work so now I'm taking this camera from taking pictures to to uh, 1080p video I'm a, I'm a blogger I'm not a blogger I'm a broadcaster but a broadcaster is what a blogger is I'm I do more of that than taking pictures and getting it printed out this is the actual box we're not gonna pull everything out I do unboxing videos I mean I'm sure it comes with the power supply I guess I could pull out let's see what was in the bottom of here it's got three separate boxes okay this is nice so I remember him talking about this. This is a plastic housing thing right here where you can put your lanyard, lan, lanyard around it 
you pop it in and I'm not gonna do all that but you pop it in and then you got a lanyard and uh, so it doesn't get damaged it's like a, 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 a weatherproof protector and uh, that's your little lanyard that goes with it okay it'll open up I usually don't do unboxing videos it's just not my thing and there's nothing else inside of here so that's it uh, they didn't give me a charging cable or anything like that but it takes a regular phone charging cable I'm sure and uh, that is it oh it's in here the charging cables in here I, 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 this thing is brand new like I said it's actually brand new I don't do unboxing video oh wow what the heck okay so it came with a clip you can't see all that it comes with the clip it comes with a micro SD card okay and it comes with the little charging cable so this thing was brand new I got it from the thrift store and I remember bidding on this I got it for like 20 bucks I couldn't believe I got it um, let's see what the how many gigs eight gigs and, and it says Polaroid I wish I could show you this I wish I could show you detail on this okay can you see that can't see it that good I don't have the best cameras to show this this unboxing videos that's why I don't do unboxing videos because if you do you're supposed to have another camera over here and you show everything you're doing whatever just take my word it says Polaroid on the SD card that is pretty classic so this was an excellent uh, buy I believe uh, like I said I paid like $20 for it I gotta go back and check my record maybe maybe $30 I paid for this I don't know but I know it was it was pretty cheap and um, I'm very happy to have it because there were several reasons I bought this I wanted a small camera and the time that I bought this I had just got the GoPro but I wanted something smaller I did not want to always take the GoPro out I wanted something smaller than the GoPro and I wanted the the uh, GoPro session but the GoPro session was a lot of money and uh, I decided well let's see what else is out there and then I started doing research and I found out Polaroid made a 1080p camera I'm, I'm, I'm more concerned with the 1080p thing or the 720p being able to shoot video more than um i'll go ahead and put this housing on here because i don't want to drop this thing but this thing is cool it's magnetic got a magnetic base take off the plastic here and i guess if you had a magnetic surface is this magnetic if, oh that's magnetic right there wow so it just popped right on there so any magnetic surface and there you go so now i can shoot 1080p video pop the polaroid on here like this and I could be shooting 1080p video. I don't need this other camera on here. I could pop this one off. And I could be shooting 1080p video with this little camera right here. I could pop it on any magnetic surface or build a mount for it or put it behind this uh, scoop. And there you go. Polaroid. Once again, 2014. This product was made in 2014. Um, Polaroid has come a long ways. Now, I believe they went out of business and went bankrupt and everything like that. Like I said, they got bought out by other companies. And actually, it was another company that probably produced this and used the Polaroid name. That's what I was, I, I, I believe that's what the information that I got. So, Polaroid was not really making this stuff anymore. They were just putting, another company was putting their name on there. And um, that's okay with me. I'm all right with that. But this is, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm giving Polaroid the credit for all of this because uh, it's pretty ingenious. This came out 2014. This came out 2014. They had, we were coming out with different products. Another company said, you know what, we're going to use the Polaroid name and we're going to keep on making stuff that's that's um, current to for today. Socialmatic camera, this was geared for 1080p. It shot, it, it, it you know, it had film came out. I mean, your uh, instant pictures came out and you could shoot 1080p video and you could save your videos. And I think it had Wi-Fi capability. And this one has Wi-Fi capability. It connects to your phone. You couldn't have pictures that came out. But they also made portable printers as well. Okay. So we're going to put these to the side. And we're going to go to our next one. I just happened to have another one. Bam. Unboxing. Okay. Brand new for the first time. Once again, this one came off of eBay. I got this one for $24. I remember. I was so happy to get this. Couldn't believe it. This one is called the Pol Polaroid iZone Zoom. Okay. The mini zoom camera camcorder Wi-Fi for instant sharing okay I know you guys can't see it that well with all the glare the Polaroid I zoom zoom okay still in the package the, the the seal hasn't been broken so I'm about to break the seal right now I'm about to break the seal I've had this camera for weeks I've had all these cameras for weeks and I didn't want to break the seal I want to do an unboxing video because I never do unboxing videos. 
because I don't really have, I don't get brand new stuff a lot of times. Um, I get a lot of used stuff. And I'm not good with unboxing videos because I'm not even opening in this box right. So I'm just going to cut this. I don't care. Okay. I don't know where to get the stuff brand new still from. I guess they, a, lot of, a lot of factories didn't sell. They didn't sell as many as they thought they were going to sell. And um, I don't know. So this is the Polaroid. Th that's why I don't do unboxing videos. This is the Polaroid iZoom. Just fell out of the package there. I didn't open it correctly. That's nice too. Very nice looking camera. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to get the glare. Because I'm just using uh, one light bulb in here today. I'm crazy. I don't have a bunch of fancy lighting or anything like that. So that's what it looks like. And it has a screen on the back. I don't believe this is a touch screen. But it might be. No, it's not a touch screen because it has buttons on the side. It's not a touch screen. so small. It's probably like a, a two inch screen. Okay, but it has a zoom, so I don't wonder if I can turn this camera on. I don't even know if it has a battery in it or not. Let's see if we can turn it on. Got a button here. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done it. I haven't experimented anything with this camera. I probably gotta get to plug it in. But this one has a zoom, so the zoom comes out. And I forgot how powerful the zoom is. And I got this one for the same purpose to be able to um, integrate it into one of my other Polaroid cameras later on. It has a built-in zoom, Wi-Fi. It has connectivity, so it connects to your phone. Let's see what else is in the box here. Once again, this is brand new. I'm doing an unboxing. And I don't do unboxing videos very well, as you can see. But that's okay. I don't have any sponsors. I'm sponsoring my own self. Once again, broadcasting like a pro. Broadcasting like a pro. Get your merchandise today. Broadcasting like a pro. We'll put that in the link in the description. I, have my, I sponsor my own self, okay? So I don't have any sponsors to, to buy this stuff for me. Um, your donations definitely help. Um, if you guys want to donate so that I can get this kind of stuff, it really helps me out. That's how I got some of this before. And I get, you know, my family members have helped me buy this stuff. This is brand new. See, I'm not good at opening these packages. I don't want to tear it up too much, but... Okay, let's see what we get in here. Oh, wow. This is an old plug, man. This is from... This is a European plug right here. That's not going to do me no good. But this is a European power supply. And this is USB, so it doesn't matter. I got USB uh, bricks that came with it. It came with the Polaroid CD. Okay. And it came with the manual instructions. Okay. All this kind of stuff right here you guys normally see. I normally don't even get all this stuff when I buy cameras because I buy a lot of used cameras back from the 70s and 80s and 90s. And sometimes I get this stuff, but I've never really read this stuff because I, I usually figure it out. You got a lanyard strap here, and then you got a, a USB, uh, micro USB, or this is mini, I think. Mini or micro, I can't remember. This one for your cell phone. Same one that works on your cell phone. So this one came out in 2014. Uh, I did do a little research on that. Um, they were showing this on at CES in Las Vegas. They were showing a couple of these at CES. I think they showed the Polaroid Cube, and they showed, this is called, once again, the Polaroid iZone. The Polaroid iZone uh, model number 877, okay? Uh, IE877 mini zoom camera camcorder Wi-Fi with instant sharing that's the front of the box right there okay I don't know you guys can't see it that good that's the front of the box okay I don't have automatic zoom and all that kind of stuff I'm not using no Sony uh, camera or anything like that I'm just using a little action camera to do my video so I'm not using anything fantastic so I'm gonna put this stuff back in here I'm not really interested in any of this stuff right here. The most interesting thing is the camera. So the lanyard, the power supply, all that kind of stuff. You know, you can use any phone charger to charge this. Um, just making it very, very simple. Once again, this is the box, the iZone. And I'll put it back in the, the original packaging. You know, if you ever want to sell it, it's good to have this stuff. You know, you want to show people that it's brand new and, and, and so forth. But I'm not a seller on eBay. I'm a buyer. You know, I don't really sell my cameras and things like that. I don't collect them to um, sell them. So we're going to get rid of this box here. This is the iZone. And this is the Cube. Okay. The Cube, the iZone, and the Socialmatic. Okay, I'm going to pull the Socialmatic back out. Because what I'm trying to do is give you guys a visual of the size of these cameras. And once again, this is homage to Polaroid. Bam, I really I really like this one with this touch screen. This is really it feels like it feels very solid, but it feels light. 
Okay, so these three cameras right here were made or were produced. It came out CES, Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, the biggest show around where they tell you about all the new products every year. They came out in CES 2014, I remember, 2014, 2015, so check that out. These were very popular, and once again, Polaroid. So you, Polaroid's come a long way from 1948 to 2014, and right when you thought everything was over, it's not. We've got one more. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Tune in. We've got the Polaroid Pop. I got it backwards. The Polaroid Pop. <laughs> I had to show you guys this. And then they, they, the box is really cool because they make it look like the film is coming out the top of the camera. But that's what the camera looks like. The camera actually looks like that. And this is called the Polaroid Pop. And the Polaroid Pop came out in 2017. <sighs> it took me a long time to do the research on all this stuff. I'm telling you. Yeah. So this came out in 2017. I think that uh, this came out around there too. This, this, this other Polaroid camera that we see here. This is a playing uh, bridge camera. It's a bridge camera because it's between a point and shoot and a um, DSLR. It's digital. It shoots in, I forgot how many megapixels, probably 14 megapixels to 20 megapixels. Who, who knows? But it's a digital camera and it shoots in 1080p. So this shoots in 1080p. The Polaroid Cube shoots in 1080p. The Polaroid Zoomomatic, I call it the Polaroid Zoom, iZoom, iZone, iZone Zoom. This shoots in 1080p. And then, of course, this one right here, the Polaroid Sociomatic shoots in 1080p. But now we are going to show you the Polaroid Pop. Okay? So we're going to unbox it. I already opened it up. It's in good shape. Okay? This is the back of the screen. This is the back of the Polaroid Pop. That's the back of the that's the back screen and it is a touch screen as well. It's a touch screen. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the box. Nice box. This is the front of the camera. Polaroid Pop. Doesn't look like very much, but this is also a Instamatic camera. It has a slot in the top, but the slot in the top is bigger. So this took about the same size Polaroid pictures that originally um, back in the 1970s. You know, your original big Polaroid pictures that came out, and that's why they put this little uh, uh, frame there to show you what the pictures look like. Okay, so the Polaroid Pop, once again, 2017. This is all digital. I don't think the battery. I don't know if the battery is on here is working or not. Um, turn the button on here. Oh, it came on. It came on. It said Polaroid. I can't see it. And they show the pictures. They show the picture frame and everything. I haven't even used this camera yet. And I pay for like like pay like fifty dollars for this camera. This camera was really hard to find oh that's cool and it shows the Polaroid pictures and then you can actually do a special effects and change colors and borders and things like that and you can print out I don't have any uh, printing for this but the video looks good too so you can actually shoot video with this 1080p video and there, it, there I am okay so we're gonna turn this off though let me turn it off oh shoot I took a picture I took a picture and it, it went in a little frame. I don't know how to turn it off. Let me hold it down and see. Got a little battery power too. I know nothing about this one at all. Off. Okay. Okay. It's a touch screen. It's a touch screen. Um, I just had to touch it in there and, 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 and turn it off. Now this one came with, let's see what it comes with opened up it came with the charging cord okay it's white matches the camera and it came inside here there's nothing in there so there's no manual or anything in this particular box and I'm not surprised like I said I bought this used 20 bucks or something no I think I paid like $50 for this one it was kind of pricey there and then when you open the bottom here this is where you put the film in you put your film in through the bottom here okay this is the Polaroid pop and this is magnetic oh that's neat it's magnetic and these come in different colors so you can get this in purple you can get them in blue red I wish I would have got the purple one actually I like purple but I got the white one and it's okay and it says Polaroid on the bottom okay you will know, see that Polaroid Polaroid pop if you want to know more information on this stuff like I said look up the YouTube videos um, I'm just giving you guys a quick overview I get very excited about this stuff once again but uh, 
Once again, the Polaroid Pop 2017. We've went, I'm gonna leave it out of the box here for a minute. I don't wanna scratch it up too much, but I'll just show you guys comparison. So you got the Polaroid Pop, you've got the Polaroid Instamatic. It came out in 2014, and you can see where they were going. They were getting kind of smaller, kind of sleeker, but they were getting, you know, I don't know what they were doing, but I thought it was cool. Polaroid Pop, and then you got the Polaroid iZone Sociomatic, and then the Polaroid Cube, of course. Okay, so these are the latest Polaroids that I could find. And like I said, I'm not a rich man, so I can't buy every Polaroid that's out there, but this is uh, dedicating our day to Polaroid. Okay, so I hope you guys are enjoying this this video i usually don't do a, a lot of videos on cameras and stuff when um i mean some of the videos i do are on retro cameras and older cameras so i wanted to show you the beginning from uh 1948 to 2014 to 2000 uh to 2017 this is the latest greatest that i've got i think this might have came out 2017 too this is the 40x zoom they may have made another one this has a 40x zoom digital 1080p whatever this um these two were probably around the same time, so depending on what you were trying to do. If you wanted to take Instamatic pictures, you're going to go with this. If you wanted to take digital pictures and you wanted to, uh, uh, you know, ha have more capabilities and change your ISO and, and be able to change all your different settings, you would go with something like this. This is more professional at the time. But this is a bridge camera, so it doesn't take the place of a DSLR, but it gi it'll give you more professional uh, uh, images ver versus something like this. This will give you 1080p video, it'll take pictures, and it'll give you Instamatic pictures. So this was, uh, this was basically, how should I say it, uh, an upgrade from this right here, okay? Except for these cameras did not do video back in the day. This one, these cameras do video, and they take pictures, and they're able to print. So this is pretty amazing right here. So these two cameras are were able to print, take video, revolutionary, revolutionized, I will say. So thanks to Polaroid. Thanks to my sponsors. Once again, broadcasting like a pro. If you guys want to donate, definitely donate. Cash app, dollar sign Tony McDo. Dollar sign Tony McDo. Cash app, dollar sign Tony McDo. We'll put that in the description and we will put it um, in the video somewhere. And I just wanted to say this video has been long overdue. I wanted to do this video in a different way. I know I'm looking kind of um, bummed out, whatever, but I just got it. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You know, yeah, I've been wasting so much time and trying to, uh, I've been collecting other cameras and stuff. i got cameras coming in all the time. I think I probably got a camera coming in today. Um, we're looking at, i got retro cameras coming in from the 70s. i got retro cameras coming in from the, you know, different years. And it's just so hard to keep up with all this stuff and, and be able to do videos. Uh, I don't have a staff. I don't have a big production company or anything like that like I used to have before. I, didn't, I never had a big production company, but you need people to help you do this type of stuff and get organized if you are trying to do this for a business, which I'm not doing this for a business. This is just a hobby, and uh, I just wanted to uh, thank Polaroid. Thank Polaroid because Polaroid has come a long ways, and I've shown you guys, once again, cameras all the way back to 1948 and I that was the first one this is the first one and I was happy to get my hands on that I, I don't always get uh, the first model of, of things that come out you know I did some videos about Sony a couple months ago and Sony I got their first model uh, you know camcorder that came out which is great but Sony had a lot of cameras I got Sony has a lot of cameras that came out I can't collect all of them I missed out on a bid last night I went for like 200 bucks I can't, I can't, I can't hang. I can't hang when it, when they, when they're price gouging that high. Uh, it started off like nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I said, yeah, I can do that. Bam, nine dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty maybe, forty or fifty. But you know, they it went to two hundred bucks, and I was like, I wanted to get it. It was a camera from the nineteen seventies. It was a Sony, and um, it's okay because I actually have one, and uh, that one was a a later model. I got an earlier one than that, so. We're going to talk about that in our next episode, probably. We're going to talk about Sony cameras. Um, I've got a little collection of Sony cameras, but not. I, I can't. I can't. I can't compete with the, the the full collection. Same thing with Polaroid. Polaroid has more cameras too, in between those years. But I just wanted to give you guys an an, an overview of what is available. What I'm doing with these cameras, like I said, you know, take something like this little 1080p camera and then pop it on here like this. 
and now we got 1080p video and we're shooting 1080p video and it's just awesome so that's awesome to me rather than to try to restore this camera and go in there and try to shoot film with it or to take one of these you know and these no social matic cameras yeah i might buy some zinc paper and i might print out some stuff with that that's that's kind of cool but when it starts to get very pricey you know you're spending a hundred dollars for film to put into something like this like this 600 se i can't do that and i can't i can't justify doing that i should say so i just want to show you guys a little bit about polaroid i'm happy with these little fines i got 20 bucks for that uh 20 or 30 dollars for that right there uh, 24 dollars for that and um once again this is magnetic this is cool it's magnetic and i'm gonna show you guys this magnetic because you don't believe me it's magnetic look at that see you see that's not flipping off it's all magnetic and, and you're shooting 1080p video so something like this is pretty awesome so we're gonna end this video i love you guys i'm hot you can see that i'm pretty hot in here i love you guys peace and love this video's been going longer than i expected it to go um polaroid i love you guys i love polaroid out there i love a lot of the companies out there and i'm just thankful that if it wasn't for polaroid we wouldn't have some of the uh, innovative um innovations that we have today okay so thank you polaroid thank you uh edwin land edwin land who created polaroid the polarizer for the military the polarizers for the trains and he wanted to do it for vehicles too for headlights you guys look at the link in the description it's going you'll see more detail on ed landman ed land he was a very brilliant man engineer and um i think he died in 1981 he passed away in 1981 that's the year i actually graduated i graduated in 1981 so this is a tribute to ed land and thank you polaroid for all your um, innovative uh, creations once again don't hate don't wait don't procrastinate you can donate to dollar sign tony mcdo dollar sign tony mcdo that's through our cash app if you would like to donate or you'd like to see more of uh this type of uh uh show in the future thank you very much i love you guys out there peace and love stay safe and god bless